black man is more big bro so i think i want to make a video about the black woman again <laughs> my videos i've been making a lot of videos about black women lately because uh i mean a lot of times i don't a lot of times i'm speaking from a general perspective you know a lot of this stuff isn't personal it's a general perspective of black women it's not it's not as if i'm messing with these these women personally i mean i i mess with black women i care about them and stuff i feel sorry for them sometimes you know but uh black women are i mean black women seem to be the most uncooperative species of women on the planet they are highly uncooperative you know this is what's wrong with us as a people is that these women are, you know, that it, these women are uncooperative. You know, they're, they're, I mean, you look at the Mexican woman and her man, she's very cooperative, you know. Then you look at the, uh, look at the uh, white woman. You know, she's she's very cooperative for the most part. You know, she's she's cooperative than a motherfucker. I mean, she's been she's been cooperative long enough for these motherfuckers to uh, uh, rape and pillage the fucking planet. She she would have to be cooperative with that shit. You know, but it seems like every time a black man tries to step up to the plate, I mean, the Asian woman, look at her, man. Very cooperative, man. But seems like every time a black man step up steps up to the plate, his shit gets shot down. See, the black woman is in competition with the black man. You know, she she is trying to compete with you. She's not trying to cooperate with you. She's trying to compete with you. This is why the black community is in such disarray she is not trying to cooperate you know there's women i mean look at the african the african woman man very cooperative i mean the black woman has been in competition with the black man since the 60s soon as i mean soon i mean soon as feminism hit the planet the black woman decided that to, to compete with black men because you got to remember that, uh, you know, black men had been making so many strides in the world. Black men had been making strides in the, uh, you know, as far as going to war, coming back, you know what I mean? Uh, in the education arena, the sports arena, the business arena, black men had been making strides all over the place. And, you know, not to say that black women weren't making strides, too. They were making strides here and there. But, you know, black men were champions. They're still champions today. But black men were championing, you know, the movement, basically. You know, because, you know, white people had been talking all kind of shit about the black man can't do this and the black man can't do that and he's inferior and he's a you know he's he's two-fourths of a human being and all this other baby shit that they are spewing to this very fucking day you know a black man had been oh 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 you you don't think we could do that shit okay i'm gonna show you that we could do this shit and we're gonna do this shit 10 times better than you and make the shit look cool at the same time Cooler than a fan, baby. <laughs> you know, that's how black men do shit. You know what I mean? They don't. They don't only do it. They make the shit look cool. 
doesn't matter, man. What what arena that we that we step into, you know. But uh, uh, you know, the black woman had been seeing all this going down, and when she got her opportunity to hop the fence through the feminism movement, <laughs> well, we not hop the fence, but she got the opportunity to do some womanly liberation bullshit. She decided that she was going to do that. That is the moment that black men and black women really, you know, be. I mean, that's the moment that black women begin their competition with you, black men. So, you know, it's black women are not cooperative. They're not cooperating with us. Even if you're in a relationship with a black woman, she's not cooperating with you. And for the most part, I'm talking about for the most part, black women do not cooperate with us. They are always in competition with us. You know? You try to implement some shit in your own house, you know, they're going to they're going to have to put their two cents in because it's like they they just can't let you make a decision and just move forward. They got to uh I mean I'm talking about for the average black man. The average black man that's that's basically on a fucking, you know, even playing field with his woman or, you know, especially if she's making more money than you, bro. She is going to fucking undermine your ass at every <laughs> At every point in turn, man, I advise you to get rid of any woman, no, no matter what, how much money she got. I don't care how much money she got. The more educated a woman is, I mean, the the more headaches you're going to have out of her for the most part. Not saying all of them. I'm saying for the most part, you're going to have a massive amount of headaches coming out of these women. You know? headaches y'all need to recognize the uh audacity of the stupidity that is coming out of these black women's mouths when they're trying to compete with you man you you need to get rid of any woman that is in competition with you you need to get rid of any woman who is just using you you know black men have to wake up man wake up bro wake up i mean you know black men on the internet yeah they 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 pretty much know what the hell's going on and shit but you got to remember the vast majority of black men are not hip to this game that they're that's being played on their ass you know black men are under the assumption that they're running game on these women when in fact these women are running game on them <laughs> and their game is 10 times stronger than uh than the black man's game. Ten times stronger. You know. See. A woman is a weaker vessel. Than a man. Woman is. is, is she's not as strong as we are. So. In order to get things done. She must use manipulation. On us. She must manipulate. So. It's going to be hard for you, black man. You know, it's all about being able to nip shit in the bud. And, and it all begins at the very beginning of the relationship. It begins at the very start of the relationship. When you, when you first meet the chick or whatever, you meet her. No, I mean, she's feeling you. You're feeling her. That's when you need to. Put, that's when you need to put your put the law in place, man. Do not get pussyfied. Do not fucking fall in love with that pussy, man. That's. I mean, shit. If you want to be with a woman, you have to nip shit in the bud quick, especially when she when she really likes you, when she really uh cares, when she really cares about you. That's when you nip shit in the bud in the very, very, very beginning of the relationship. Because if you let them get away with little shit here and there, 
No, I mean, they're going to fucking undermine you, bro. I'm trying to help y'all figure this shit out. They're going to undermine us at every point in turn. You know, if we allow it. So, you know, when you're when you're in, you know, when you're going through the uh, courting process, you know, the beginning of your relationships, you know, you got to you got to uh you got to step to, you know, you got to step to these women and let them know that you're not about to let them get away with shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't care what them other dudes allowed you to get away with. That's not happening over here. And if she's a woman, if she's a, if she if she really cares about you like that, she's going to she's going to conform to your standard. You know, but if she if she's too concerned with what she wants or whatever, you know, she's she's not going to she's going to diss you. You're going, you ain't going to hear from this chick no more because she wants a she wants an easier target. She wants an easy, a, 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 a easier mark. She, you know, she said, damn, this dude right here, he's not a, he's not a, he's not an easy mark like the, like a lot of these other brothers out here. You know, I can't play him. I can't get over on him. This is why it's hard out here for a pimp. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> a pimp is going to put his his hand down. His pimp is going to put his pimp hand down. You know what I mean? When uh when these women start their fuckery, he's going to put his game down on her hard. You know what I mean? You know, most women, being that we live in American society, they have they have the option to opt out. I mean, they they can opt out of your fuckery at any point in time. But it's all about mind control, man. Stop trying to control these women's vaginas and start controlling their brains. Let them know what you're not willing to fucking put up with. You're not, you know, your pimp hand got to be stronger than a mug, man. It's not about pimping or nothing, but it's just like... It's not about pimping, it's just about, you know what I mean, uh, just basic human decency. You know, you're not going to do whatever you want around me. You're going to be a, you're going to be a respectable woman around me. You're going to be a, a, you know, and these women will conform. You know, when you get around a woman, the best thing you could do is don't say shit to her. You know what I mean? Let all the other dudes sweat her and talk to her and give her attention. You don't give her as no attention. You don't you don't even talk to her or speak to her. You don't look at her. You know what I mean? And she's going to make her way towards you. Because you're that mystery man. You know, these women love mystery. They love excitement. They're going to make their way to the mystery man because this is the only man that don't give two shits about me. She's going to be like, damn, why why this dude over here don't give a damn about me? All these other dudes, they sweating me, but this dude right here, he don't even look at me, pay attention to me, or even talk to me. You know what I mean? And then, you know, after about two, three weeks or some shit, you might say, you might say hi to her or something like that. And that bitch be like surprised, like, damn, this nigga done said hi to me. Oh shit. <laughs> he finally spoke to him. And then she gonna be all giddy and excited and shit. Then you gonna fucking you gonna you gonna turn that shit off on her again. You know what I mean? Then she gonna come to you. She's going to conform to your shit. That's why it's hard for women to conform, you know, because it's too many men. That's just willing to jump up and, and, and simp for them. And sometimes that shit can backfire on you like a motherfucker too. You know what I mean? Sometimes when you, you know, you don't talk to a bitch, she'll, she'll do negative shit. She'll do negative shit to try to get your attention too. You know what I mean? She'll try to talk shit, shit about you. Oh, that nigga right there, he lame or he's a, uh, 
I mean, he's he's a punk. He's quiet. He too fucking quiet. He's shy. Or some shit. She'll she'll try to find a way to get a rise out of you to get you to get you to say something to the to them to her whatever. But anyway, this is more about black women's lack of uh. This is more about black women's uh you know lack of uh being uh what what is it uh what is it man cooperative black women are not cooperative man and it's it's and the reason why they're not cooperative is because there's too many simps in the world and it's our personal responsibility to wake up these simps you know but thanks to wigtail we got some new women out here that's helping wake up the brothers <laughs> by shitting on black men and, you know, all these little funny ass movements that these women got. Those are good things for us because they're because as long as they're shitting on men and letting men know how they truly feel about them, they're going to be waking these brothers up. And then that's when we step in and, and put them up on game. Like, these bitches are insane. <laughs> these chicks are insane, man. Now, I mean, you could kind of tell what a brother's on, man. I, I was at I was at a work, like, I mean, I was at work, like, let me see, about four months ago. And uh, this uh, this one brother, he was like, you know, this one brother, man, see, this brother's married, man, this brother's married, but, you know, and it's this one, it was this one chick, I mean, she, she came past, or whatever, and, you know, she, he, he was trying to talk to her and shit, you know, I mean, he was trying to talk to her, I didn't say shit to her, I wasn't even really paying her no attention, I mean, I noticed her, you know, I noticed her, but, you know, she looked at that dude, and she was like, you know, he was trying to holler at him, and, and he was like, I mean, she was like, aren't you married? Because he had his, he had his uh, ring on, his uh, ring on. You know, she, he, he probably thought that she was one of these women that don't give a fuck if you're married or not, you know, but she wasn't that kind of woman. You know, she was like, and she kept trying to get me to talk to her, and she, you know, she was real desperate. I could hear the desperation that was going on with her. She really needed it bad. You know what I mean? But it was time to go on break. So <laughs> we cut out. We cut out. You know, it was like, it was like uh, I don't remember. I don't remember exactly how the story go. But I know it was time for us to go on break. You know, but Shorty had been following us around for a minute. You know, she had been following us. She was doing her job or whatever. But she had been following us around for a minute. And uh, we was like... You know, he, he kept talking to her, you know, trying to spit a little game here, spit a little game there. She wasn't really feeling it. She was just like, you know, she kind of checked him with like, no, ain't you married, man? And he was like, I don't, you know, that don't mean nothing. <laughs> Black man. And y'all got to understand, man, once you get with a woman and get in a relationship with her, you out the game now, man. You're no longer a player. Black men are always trying to be players after they after they get in the after they're in the relationship, man. This is why women. This is why I gotta deal with all these stupid ass women out here and put them in check all day long. Cause black men like him, you know what I mean? They're not being honest with these women. They're cheating on these women, and then that reflects on all of us as black men. You know, all of us are cheaters. All of us ain't shit. One, uh, one percent, not even one percent of our pop of the black male population is out there dealing dope. But, you know, it's the image. You know, what I mean, a lot of it has to do with dress code. Black men, you have to improve your dress code. You know, what I mean, a lot a lot of this po police shit. It's the thug. It's, it's the thug culture. If you dress like a thug. Most of the time, you're going to get treated like one. I mean, this is just how it is. 
if you in the if you in a three piece suit, you're gonna get treated a little bit differently than a person who got his pants hanging off his ass. Oh, you're gonna get treated a whole lot differently. So a lot of times the the shit has to do with the dress code. But anyway, black man, that's all I really wanted to say, man. Keep your eye on these women, man. Keep your eye on them, man. Be firm. Be firm. Stand your ground. Know what I mean? Be ready to check these women. Be ready to lose these women. You know what I mean? If they're not willing to conform to how you, to your standards, then you want to, you know, you want to leave them alone. I mean, but that will call for you to have a strong moral code. You know, if you don't have any standards yourself, then you can't even expect a woman to conform to anything if you don't have any standards. You know, she's just going to be looking at you like, what, who's this dude? I mean, uh, he, I mean, he wants me to listen to him, blah, blah, blah. I mean, you got to have some standards first before you want a woman to conform to something. You know, she's not going to conform, especially if she has a higher moral code than you. You know what I mean? If her if her moral code is higher than yours, it's going to be very hard for her to conform. I mean, a lot of women are dumb like that, though. I've noticed that. I noticed that some women, you know, when they're with a real black man and they find they can't get away with shit for all the years that they're with him. You know what I mean? And then, you know. And then once they leave him, they go to the ex- they go to the fucking bottom of the barrel. They go to the bottom of the barrel. But that's 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 uh that's not the norm. That's not going to be the norm. You know, that's that you, you're not going to be able to get any of the I mean, a lot of the good women that you want. You know, what I mean, unless you have a high moral code your moral code must be way higher than hers which means please stop selling drugs please stop smoking weed please stop smoking cigarettes please stop drinking alcohol please stop committing crimes keep your pants on your ass so we know who you are i cannot expect that you are one of the brothers when you got your pants hanging down on your knees. You are not one of us. You know what I mean? Anyway, loyalty. Your moral code must be way higher than the woman's moral code. Way higher than their moral code. You know, you all, you know, hypergamy plays its role in this shit, and it's very hard, but. <laughs> Adopt the moral code. Get on the five steps. On that note, I want to say peace.